Hello everybody, I'm back with more Spyro and when I left off I had no idea how to get into that secret room that I'm fairly sure is a secret room. That was bumped into that. So I think that money bags lets you in like when you've completed a world or two, so I'm just gonna complete a world or two. That's quite a few there's four worlds out here. Plus the speed race, that's five worlds just out in this area. And there's a bunch more inside as well. So I'm going to start things off nice and easy with Crystal Glacier. I don't remember anything about this, so let's see what it has to say for itself. Oh boy. Well, that didn't. As rescues go, that was not ideal. It's got satisfied. There we go. Spyro, the ice wizard <laughs> has imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. <laughs> uh, buddy. Oh my god, he's gonna mate with me. Wait, I'm not playing Minecraft, I'm fine. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. Thanks, Kludgy. You guys have hilarious voices, I feel I should point out. It would be remiss of me to not point that out. Oh my god, look at them go, they're amazing. <laughs> they make some brilliant noises as well. What are you laughing at? Miss jerk! Oh, you're a big enemy. There we go. I couldn't tell. They looked quite big, but not big enough to be a big enemy. But apparently they were. Let's throw you guys out. I can tell there's nothing they'll say to me because when one wants to speak to me, I like I can't move it off right There we go. Okay, well, next time I'll clear out the enemies before I thought, you know, unfreeze some of these guys. Watch. We'll help you climb this wall up ahead. Okay, thank you. Because apparently the, uh, the enemies can refreeze them. What's the point of these? Why can't I just charge them like every other of these bottles? Let's see why I need to, like, have dynamite stuck to them. Oh my god, you guys are amazing. That's fantastic. I'm just gonna get this through. Please, God, please, somebody tell me. Yes, the Sparks creature things are little snowballs with legs. Look at them, they are adorable. Now they're dead. They were absolutely adorable. Oh, no, no, pulls that up, didn't it? Right, up, oh, and oh, there we go. I'm not gonna lie, that may have looked like I knew what I was doing, that was pure fluke that I happened to take that guy out and then avoid the snowball or ice ball or whatever the cock it was. Ooh. What do you think, rabbits? Rabbits with like, big drill noses? <clears throat> right. MONEY BAGS! Left these things to get him. Baham. Right. Uh, anything around here? This is, you know, a bit snowy. A bit. Oh, balls. Oh, not balls. Sweet, I made it. What the balls? Oh, fuck! Jesus! Fuck! That terrified me! Oh, my. You shiny green. Bastard! Shiny green three eyed bastard! Oh god! I hate you! This whole area is infested with creepy draclets. You might be able to help us get rid of them if you could fly. If you could fly. Oh my. Jesus. God. Fuck. They actually seem pretty harmless, but that doesn't that doesn't matter. It absolutely terrified me when it just waltzed into the side of me view there. Jesus, you 
Oh my god. Whew. Well, what I was saying before I fell down there and found those horrible monstrosities was this place is actually, you know, a bit nippy, but it seems fairly nice, a bit primitive. But we got some nice little sort of huts and, you know, friendly folk around here, so it seems okay. Not sure I'd want to live here, the water's green. Hello there, Spyro. No money I bags. can arrange for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Huracost that I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. Why do you want a condo in Huracost? It's an awful place. The weather's terrible. How can you do all this shit, Moneybags? Seriously. I bet Moneybags is actually like secretly ridiculous, like the most powerful person in the world. And he just, you know, hides it. And, and this is his idea of doing good things and helping out the hero, the hero of the Spyro. He thinks, I can't just use my powers, my godly fucking powers to solve all the problems. Because, you know, that's not fair or balanced or whatever. And so, you know, rather than just helping Spyro out right, he sort of charges him. But in actual fact, Moneybags is the hero. Because he has restraint. He could help bloody hell. He could just win everything single-handedly. He could rule all of Avalar, but he doesn't. All he does is take a small amount, a reasonable fee, I believe he would say. A small fee, in fact. Or he would just take a small fee from people. And, uh, yeah, and use it to safeguard Avalar. Either that, or he's just a colossal dick who can teleport. Look <laughs> these little snowballs, they're amazing. So adorable. Ah, you bastard. Eat fire! That's not eating fire! Bam! Got you that time, didn't I? Ow! Bugger. Right. Little snowballs. Yup. Alpha. Oh, bloody hell, that was a waste. Got back up to gold and fell in the bloody river. Uh, where are they? This one. There we go. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second and look out below. You got it, Oggy. Dear Lord, what are they doing? How can they jump that high? Crazy. Yeah, he does. Down goes the giant snow boulder. How did that? I oh. what? Ugh. Oh, give up. You think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head? Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. <laughs> oh man, those guys are gonna be pissed. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic. Right. Um, I'm glad that worked out, guys, because that could have gone horribly wrong. You could have killed the guy. But you didn't, so, you know, we can all be happy about that, at least. Hello, fellas. Okay, uh, I'm just going right, to head back to the power up. What's this? Another bridge? Fairly sure this is something spine. Hello. I lost my pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing, and when I turned around, he was gone. Aww. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draglets. Who's this snow leopard, George? Did I just see something? Nope, that hurts, okay. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh my god, I want him. Oh my god, he's even cuter up close. Oh my god, look at his little footprints. Oh my god. Oh, come here, you. Oh, god. Let's see if he's flame proof. Yeah, so he's a suitable pet for a dragon. Oh my god, he's hungry. 
Oh. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen anything so adorable. Oh, good grief. Oh, Jesus, I'm finding that again. Christ, I'm bad at this. Come well on then, George. Let's get you another treat. Let's get you a treat, boy. There you go, George. Eat up. Oh, just, oh, isn't he adorable? Even when he's just like gobbling up those fish, making that horrifying sound. Do snow leopards eat fish? I mean, I thought leopards are other animals, like, that aren't fish. Oh, what's that? Oh, he's meowing at me! Oh, this is doing meow, he's still a door on my own, what a... Oh. Well, to put it another way... Oh. Come on then, George. You adorable little thing. George? Damn it, George! There he is. <laughs> I'm sorry everybody, he is just so adorable. He's take him home and you know oh. You found George. Put him in a big I'm so glad he's napkin. safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. I'll take that, thank you. I must admit, I'm slightly perturbed by the fact that the you want to go that the orbs are so very, um, you know, easily acquired in Avalar. People just finding them lying around, finding them fishing. It, it seems a bit, I don't know. They're clearly powerfully magical because they're the, what the professor used to first make the portal to uh, to Ripto's realm. So. Yeah, they're just inc incredibly unsafe, I would say. I must we used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they are infested with multiplying draclets. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. Do you think you can get rid of them for us? I can certainly try, Pally. Great! But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. Right. Come back through here for treasure later. This is my revenge on the ugly green bastards. The frightening me earlier. I'm still fairly sure they're harmless, but still. They're gross and surprising and shocking, and one of them almost at me. Possibly. He might have been saying hello, I don't know. The point is, I didn't like it. I was scared. Oh, no, you don't. Aha, that's how they multiply. They spit stuff. You have gross. saved us all from a grisly fate. Please, Yay. accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. Oh, thank you. I have nothing to thank you for your thanks, but you know, if I did, this would just keep going around in circles, and the whole thing would be just a colossal pain in the ass. Okay. I'm very glad I could make those jumps actually without Superfly. Aha! Tremendous. Right, home. Well, not home, but you know. Back to, well, tip back to the home world. Yeah? Yeah? See what I did there? Yeah, I made a funny. Right, this will be quicker. Oh dear it. Oh my god, the height is limited. I can't super fly any higher than this. Why the hell not? Oh, uh, what is this shit? Damn you artificial height limits! Damn you all! Oh yeah, it's just it's just completely taking the super fly from me if I come up here. Wow, that's restrictive. Hey buddy. Bye buddy.
glad to see those guys actually help. <laughs> Outstanding. Right, should we go see if money banks has opened that world up? Hmm. And then I got oh, there's some more treasure. Up there. You know, I ex I examined loads of that wall. I did not look at that end of it. Boy, is my face red. No, it's not actually. It's you know quite quite a normal colour. Nothing strange about it. It's just a colour. A normal colour. Which doesn't really have it's not that's not really a colour because people say you know what I don't think people say but it's it's kind of what you pick up when you're younger that pink is the colour of people you know white people but it's not it's you know it's really not we're well not pink I don't I don't know what you know I don't know what colour I would describe my skin as it's not pink doesn't help actually that I'm like I tan incredibly quickly, but I also hate the sun, so I make, go to great lengths to avoid being out in it long enough to tan. So I'm actually. I don't want to do that at all. I want to go through this one, didn't I? Uh, yeah, okay. Money Bass is not here. Never mind. Yeah, so I actually, like, naturally, I'm quite. I'm reasonably pale, but then, like, at other times, in the right light, I look really very tanned. And then if I'm in the sun for particularly long, then I tan quite a bit as well. And again, I'm not a fan of the sun. I, just, I don't like it. It's hot and, and, and sticky and, and and it makes you all sweaty and hurts your eyes. And it's just, you know, it's not it's not nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate all the good work it does for us, the people of Earth. You know, providing us with light, providing us with, you know, seasons, providing us with something to actually orbit around. I'm missing five. That's just perfect. So I appreciate all of that stuff that it does. I just don't much like coming in contact with it. So, I was trying to think of a joke to make there, and I thought, mm, no, all of those jokes are terrible. So, yeah, it's... that that's... oh, I know, I don't much like coming into contact with it, like members of the BNP. Uh, if, if you don't know what the BNP is, if you're not British, or if you just don't keep up with the politics, uh, the BNP are basically Brit the closest thing Britain has to, like, a neo-Nazi party, but they're not that they, they they try and act like real politicians to um so that, that you know they don't come they don't like Hitler or anything and they they would vehemently deny being Nazis but they're incredibly far right like ludicrously so and but yet yeah, nobody takes them seriously even the other really far right parties like UKIP don't take them seriously and so actually UKIP's not that far right so not in comparison to BNP but pretty far right I don't know I haven't checked up recently so yeah it's they're, they're essentially the joke party like nobody they um their leader the leader is currently a chap called Nick Griffin um, and uh, he was the BBC which is the British Broadcasting Corporation which you probably know about um, they let him on a show called Question Time uh, a couple of years back I think which is basically where politicians sit in the room and get asked questions by members of the public it's a good show and um, Good show because it embarrasses politicians, and you know that's that's, that's a worthy goal. Uh, and they let Chris, uh, Nick Griffin on it for one. I was going to say Chris Griffin, then <laughs> they let Nick Griffin on uh, for one of the episodes. And you know that was that was fairly big news because normally the BMP are just completely ignored. So they let him on, and he went in there all sort of big puffed up and ready to sort of you know start with his rhetoric. And he just got absolutely ripped to shreds by the crowd there and the other members of the panel, all of them, absolutely all of them. And I swear to God, I've never seen so many black people or, you know, Indian people or any any non-whites, basically. Because the BNP is a, you know, as is to be expected, is, is a fairly, considered a fairly, no, uh, well, I don't want to call them racist, but they're considered fairly racist. So, yeah, I've never seen so many, essentially, non-white people in an audience before, like, at question time. I don't, I mean, I don't normally count or anything, so I'm not saying there aren't normally. But it was just fantastic because his face, as he was just getting torn to shreds by all of these polite, well-mannered, reasonable people, it was just absolutely brilliant. 
It was, yeah, I'm st the reason I'm going around when I'm talking, by the way, that banner's not attached to anything. I'm trying to find the last five treasure that I'm missing. I have no idea where it is. I bet it's behind that hidden wall, but, you know, I can't figure out how to get through there, so. That's a pain. That's definitely a pain. Unless it's in one of these alcoves, actually. Any one of these alcoves? Any of these alcoves? Any at all? No? Please be in an alcove. Please be in an alcove. Aha! Nope. Aha! Nope. Aha! Nope. Aha! Yes! There we go. Fantastic. Right. Okay, that is actually all I have time for this episode. So, join me again for the next episode. Where, as you can see, I'll be doing the Skelos Badlands. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, this episode, that is. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, etc. And I'll see you all again soon.